Hi, this is Amanda with Music Game Club, and today I want to walk you through two ways you can use Flamingo Flats to really help your students master some things in music. The first one is note names. So when it comes to reading notes in different keys, a lot of times students will struggle with including the flats as they name their notes. So for instance, this excerpt is not E, G, B, G, it is E flat, G, B flat, G, which is really important. And that's one of the reasons we created this game was to help build practical awareness as students look at different key signatures and the notes within the excerpts. So when you play the game this way with the intent of, I want to help my students with their notes. I want to help them with their note reading and their note names. They're not just identifying which flats are affected, they are actually going through and naming every single note. This actually might be what some students need to do in order to identify what the flats are. So you have E flat, G, B flat, G, E flat, A flat, C, A flat. And then they say how many flats were affected and you have the one, two, three, four, five. So this card moves forward a lot of spaces, it moves forward five spaces. The notes on the Flamingo flat cards go from C3 to C4 in the bass clef and then C4 to C5 in the treble clef. So your students who need help with those notes in particular, this is a perfect game for that. The second way I would use this to really help students solidify and learn some things is teaching key signatures. Now we've discussed this a little bit in some of our other videos, but I figured I would just spend a little time talking about it here. So there are two different ways you could do this. You could just do it where they're identifying that's the key of C, that's the key of B flat, that's the key of E flat, but it gets even further. And if you notice this excerpt right here, if you play it, it actually is not E flat. It is actually C minor. So this is for your more advanced students who can play the excerpt and identify it that way or look at the notes if they're really good like that. So this is not the key of E flat major. It is the key of C minor. We have multiple minor keys in all of the different key signatures. And so that was our little way of slipping even more practice in there. If you just wanna use this game for the easiest level, we had a video on that a few weeks ago where they just say, oh, there's three flats, I move forward three, you can. But if you also want to use this for more upper level students where they're looking at a melody and telling you what key it's in, that is another really good way to do this. So you can either work off the melody for your more upper level students or for your younger students if they still only know key signatures and they don't know the relative majors and minors, that's okay. You can just say, oh, that's the key of E flat. Now, what are your flats? B flat, E flat, A flat, they move forward. That's the key of B flat. What are your flats? B flat, E flat, they move forward. Or you could say, that's the key of C minor. This is the key of B flat major and move forward that way. So you can name your notes with your students or you can dig in deeper and figure out what key signatures are featured in the cards with your upper level students. Have fun playing Flamingo Flats with your students. If you take pictures and share them on social media, please tag us at Music Game Club on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Have fun.